recording. Um, sorry, um, David, just to say that there's no um, maintainers on regarding the um, no down, uh, SDK today, so I'm not sure. Um, but if it's recorded, I suppose we can pick that up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll record it uh, so folks can listen to it later, give any feedback if they want later. Okay, let me just show the JIRA dashboard for the roadmap. So these are basically any epic in JIRA that's tagged for v2.x. Um, I will uh, start with the update for um, improved fabric samples since I'm currently sharing. So uh, the samples, uh, updated samples for v2.2 and using test network are well underway. We've got a whole series around the asset transfer scenario. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, chain code samples done. Uh, I'll show you that over in Fabric Samples. So there's asset transfer basic, ledger queries, private data, and secured agreement. Uh, those all have chain codes done, and they are in various states in terms of the applications that can drive those chain codes. They can also be driven through CLI, uh, but we're currently working to um, finish out all the applications, at least for the basic sample, so that um, there's a model for people to use for any language um, to drive a basic chain code. And then as you go down the list, they get more advanced in terms of the ledger queries, showing how to use private data, showing how to use state-based endorsement. And then a final one kind of puts everything together uh, for what we call the secured agreement scenario. Uh, anyways, the applications are uh, in progress for those, and so are the tutorials. Some of the tutorials have been updated already. We've gotten, for example, the uh, test network tutorial and the uh, chain code lifecycle tutorial updated from Fabcar to use the asset transfer basic, and we're rolling through all the other tutorials to update them as well. Any questions on the samples? Okay, uh, so then I guess we'll go in order here. Uh, Jason, are you on? I am. Wanna give a quick update on um, BFT? Uh, yeah, I guess I, I can give a, a quick update. You know, there's, there's some work that's been progressing on the library, um, but there's some, uh, some items that have sidetracked me a bit, so it's been making a little less progress um, than I'd like it to, um, but uh, still, uh, you know, uh, uh, aiming to have um, a, a, at least a um, feature complete library by the end of the quarter is is my hope. But you know, we'll we'll see how that goes, um, and from there we would start looking at uh, integration. Okay, thank you. Uh, channel participation API. Will, do you want to talk to that one? Sure, yeah, I can uh, chime in here. Um, so yeah, things have been moving along uh, pretty smoothly here. Uh, Yoav's been continuing to lead the charge on the join channel work. Um, so I think we have a good base of that in now, um, as well as some uh, refactoring work around some of the order registrar and things like that. So. Um, that's continuing along. We have the remove channel um, also in progress and some integration tests around. So um, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary to really to report with any of that. Okay, thanks Will. The config transaction library. Yeah, so uh, there's been a couple of releases out for that already. I'll just see some initial ones. Um, the development of that is more or less still ongoing, pending feedback from initial consumers. Um, so we've made a couple of changes already to the uh, original API that had been um, released as part of the 001. Um, I think we'll unrelease 007 now with periodic incremental improvements so here and there to pieces of the API, um, just based off of feedback from community members. So, um, Still looking for more people to kind of use it and provide more feedback, and then we'll continue development on that as needed. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the doc around Fabric Network deployment guides. 
Yeah, thanks, Dave. Um, so work is continuing on the fabric deployment guide. We've started work now on the peer deployment process. We have a work group that happens on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, if anyone's interested in joining. Uh, similar to what we did for the CA deployment guide, we're planning a three-part topic. Uh, part one is gonna be planning and considerations for your production peer. Part two is the configuration settings in the core.yaml that you need to understand. Um, and a side uh, shout out if anyone else has uh, favorite settings in the core.yaml that they want us to highlight, they can join our work group call on Thursday at 2 p.m. or put comments in the Fabric documentation channel on Rocket Chat. Um, and then part three is a tutorial of the deployment steps. So that's where we are with that. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is that we need to start thinking about documentation for the Fabric 2.0 re-release, um, specifically around the ledger snapshot and checkpoint work and the channel participation API. Um, we plan to follow the normal process where the developers draft the documentation content and then we take it from there. So I would ask the developers who are working on those features to start thinking about um, what kind of documentation is required, how you think it should be docked, and, and where the doc belongs. Um, as we will start to, to work on that together. So that's it for me. Okay, thanks Pam. And then Ledger Snapshot and Checkpoint. Yeah, hi. Yeah, so in this one, um, on the development front, uh, you know, like we had divided the uh, this thing into four or five uh, high-level user stories. So on those, um, the snapshot generation story is done and um, the bootstrapping story is done basically um, leaving the private data aside and then to expose these uh, functions at the peer level uh, Vengen is working on CLI commands so that should be done soon and our um, going forward the plan is uh, that in parallel we will start with the we would like to start with the system tests so that uh, we get to see some input or some uh, issues which we run into when we perform these things on high uh, data volume and um, so we would like to know basically those issues sooner than later while in the background we would um, keep working on the uh, bootstrapping uh, private data handling. So that is the development side will keep going on in parallel. And um, after that, there are like some uh, minor tasks, uh, kind of adjustment of existing commands, um, rollback, reset, etc. So those should be, I think, fairly straightforward. So that's the overall status. Any questions? Okay, thanks Manish. Uh, and then finally, the programming model updates to add a uh, high level programming model to the Go SDK. Okay, hi, um, that'll be quite short because that's been completed now um, for, and is available in the beta two release of that. I don't know how much more okay. you want to <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we talked about that uh, a few weeks ago, and we, yeah. you know, talked about maybe if that would be ready for production soon. We decided to hold off and keep that in beta for a little bit while longer and get some more feedback on that. Uh, but Leslie Ann, maybe if you could just update the current status field for Fab G nine two eight. Um, I think and, it is updated. It's actually closed. What? I mean, just this field. It says in development. You can highlight that the uh, beta is available. All right, okay. That's in the uh, current status field. If you've never seen that, that is right here. All right, okay, I've got that, yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, so I'm thinking with, you know, Ledger Snapshot and Checkpoint and the channel participation, per channel participation API potentially coming in a next release. Uh, might be good to do it, to do a deep dive on those two topics in subsequent contributor meetings. So we'll see uh, you know, if one of them is ready to go in two in two weeks or four weeks. Um, but we'll try to do a playback uh, in this meeting for those two items since they're kind of the, the next two big features coming into Fabric, and we'd like to get feedback on those as well. Uh, but any other questions on the overall roadmap?
Okay, uh, so let's hand it over to uh, David. He can show us what he's been doing around the module for Fabric Admin. Yeah, thanks. Can you see my screen? Yes, we see it. Uh, we, I would charge uh, keep it uh, uh, technic um, deeply technically uh, specific and try to keep it because we because we just have about uh, twelve to at least twelve slides. Okay, this is the name of the NPM module. I published this here, as here. Uh, some or yes, it's already sub several uh, months ago because uh, as long as the this admin capability parts of the Fabric SDK, Fabric Node.js SDK is removed. The community people are keeping on asking that where, where do we go, where do we go? So I spent uh, some, uh, I remember it's one month or, or deeply uh, dedicated for to create this uh, compensation, compensation parts of uh, and mean capabilities uh, portion of, portion of the SDK. Okay, let's go directly. It depends on the, this, uh, existing the SDK modules that the Fabric SCA client because it is unstable, just never mind that. And Fabric Commons, another part is quite simple, is my personal the formatter. It, is just, it only contains some of the constants and uh, format adapters. So it's, it's simply for development. Uh, if actually, if we, in the future, we can get rid of it because it's just uh, some stat statistic, static files. Okay, this dependency. And the design is, uh, first it is, uh, I will follow the design of like most of the, uh, the rest part of the SDK that it's object, object, object oriented, you know, just uh, coding styles. And we try, I'm, I'm trying to recover most of the helpful function as deleted from the SDK itself. And the features is now current base cover includes the chain operations, some of the query join update, and chain operation install approval can be. And I intentionally not to touch up with that about uh, doing the actual transaction part because it, it, it is quite nicely handled in fabric networks. So this is my, this is, this is my design. And some of the, some of the why I see some of, one of the helpful function that I did not recover is the channel com, get channel doc, can get channel config from here will not be rebuilt because uh, nowadays from, after the refactor of the event surface that we can easily get it from here or get it from Audra. And I, additionally, I give something like, like a gate policy JSON. It's the chess data for the gate DSL uh, to end out of the, the syntax. I, I, follow the, I follow the design of, of the fabric code of the policy parts of the code. So you can easily have a string representation of gate DSL, DSL to a, a proto message, which show us show you as the end out of syntax. Okay, component map again, because uh, aside from the deletion of the of Fabric SDK and main capability parts, some of the component is highly renamed. Uh, for the newcomers, when you have already played good with the old SDK, that you will, you will find where is the PRJS, where is the order right here. Now I also have a conversation parts that it is recovered, but it is uh, built based on the new design of the Fabric SDK. So it is PR.js, uh, it is a combination of the endorser and inventor, and order.js work as committer and inventor. Now you may see that why the order JS have to work as an inverter because event it is not designed to be because the order is not uh, designed to be can emit an event. Uh, I build this because I because for the for the intention that we could easily get directly get block from the order. And the channel operation, as, as you all know here, the channel creation is just another part of other sample of the channel update. The channel update part is, uh, is placed in the channel update.js aligned with the fabric common design. Uh, you could either use, uh, I, I decided two fashions to use as the, in, in channel update. You could either use an envelope entirely, or you can use a config and with signatures. Um, the, 
the, the first one is quite is it is frequently used when you uh, want to uh, use a combination uh, questions that you first you you use the command lines to based on peer channel to sign the config then you load the config files into the envelope into for SDK developments this is one fashion another fashion is that you want to play it all within JS so I provide two fashion here and the channel operation uh, the next part is channel join a peer join a channel in nature is uh, sending a system chain couple post peer so it is done in the cscc proposal.js you can extract the genesis from file or you could use a, a method that get specific block in signing identity js if you or um, as the new design in the committer so as here you could never get a block directly from the other JS. So I compass, I, how would I say, I would say it's rebuilt of the old get block from the other, the functions uh, based on the GRPC the streaming back to the other JS. So you, that you can get as use other JS as the, as usual as before. Okay. And the chain code operation parts, they're separated in the, in the life cycle, life cycle mostly, life cycle proposal JS mostly. It is here is a proposal. But JS is in, more, something more like this. Um, for the Pango package part, I will not, uh, I have not included in that module because there are several ways we can packs, make our archive. Uh, I will provide a sample in another npm package, but it's not included in this npm package. Yes, yeah, so as the as approved, as here we shows all is done in these fashions. The approve for my org is a function inside the JS. And others I provide also uh, implements a uh, uh, stream this, this discovery surface in discovery JS. Um, it only return it only return the raw representative of discovery results, no further object rebuilt in size. So for some developer they may want just to inspect the what's the the raw present raw results when the discovery has done instead of to recover all the peer and order and channels into the they are already config the in memory objects. And the rest is the machineries you may use or not to use. Uh, and I, if it is not required in, or if maintainers say it is not necessary to include in that package, I, I'm, I would like to remove it. This simply just wrappers. Something like you event have for event surface, identity surface, or, or wrapper of identity surface, and user JS for common the user JS in the com fabric commons. And some of the utils include that here. This is the portal translator. Uh, this part can also be refactored in a little bit because nowadays I have noticed that uh, the fabric SDK had already refactored the the port fabric portals structures. In, nowadays, they based on Fabric Portal 6, you are pure JS and uh, uh, passions to build that. Inside DB, this is uh, another YouTube JS. Uh, I recover, I recover or, or build collection configs function from the deleted ones and add another functions. Now it's from a standard. What that means is that just later from the, uh, the collection config.json. What, what I have to make that from the center because inside the collection config JSON, which is uh, uh, show in a sample of fabric documents that uh, the syntax to, to represent a sign uh, and endorsements or, or rather say endorsement policies inside the collection is used gate DSL instead of n out of. So along with the previous, the, translator where what I have mentioned about it is the I, I also incorporate here with the translator with with the translator of the gate DSL to the end out of syntax. 
um, you may you may you need to know that with the test coverage of the, that entire NPM modules, uh, I have to say, uh, because uh, while I want to keep it keep it clean, uh, I use another pro project. It's here in my fabric. It's me. Uh, my 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 I maintain projects. As, as a home of the network bootstrap composer and also the home of integration tests. Some of the unit tests is done inside the NPM module, but IC is not enough for the rest of the part of the rest parts of this uh, this NPM module. I place it here. So my plans is uh, I have uh, I remember several months ago I, I discussed with Brad Logan's although he's not here. Uh, I want to whether we can propose this as a, a third party or Community contributed uh, development tools when people were looking for the do some uh, main capabilities for by using Fabric SDK as they usually as they usually do. And the second uh, my plans to is missionary key ops, and that's all of my all of my presentation today. Okay. Any questions and or suggestions I could. Uh, you, you share. Uh, thanks, David. So, what's your vision for this long term? Would you envision it being contributed to Hyperledger eventually and being kind of the Node SDK for admin operations? Uh, I pr I would like to contribute to the Hyperledgers because I'm I'm also a <laughs> hybrid technical ambassador. So, uh, but it depends on because I I am not exactly know the why this this part is removed from the Fabric SDK nodes. And so when I contribute it back, I'm wondering which is the best format or structure I could contribute back is the best for the communities. Uh, I would like to contribute in any ways. Uh, and I would like to see what can, I ha what can I help. But it all depends on the maintenance. So it is, it is important for your Earth feedbacks. Right. Yeah, I think it was just um, uh, you know a prioritization that it wasn't prioritized for uh, two two to you know to the Fabric two L uh, chain code to update the SDK. So I think it would be good uh, if there's a contribu contribution like this, and if it got you know consensus and community behind it, uh, then it could become you know the, if the official Hyperledger uh, contributed SDK for admin operations. But so I think, yeah, it's, it's, you can, I, I would recommend putting it out on the mailing list um, and people can start using it, playing with it, and we'll see if it gets some traction. Okay, yes. Uh, I, I, I remember I posted it in the Node.js, the, the Rocket Chat channel, and some of them use it. Uh, but I, I, because several things have, have already passed and there's not much discussion on this part already. So I will try to remind it again in the mail maybe. Yeah, I know a lot of people have, have asked for this in the various forums. So I think it will, you will see demand for it. Thanks for helping. I will try. In terms of the experience, is that if people were using the um, admin capabilities in the 1.4 SDK, would they see a similar uh, use model here? Uh, a little bit different, but I try to keep the function names as same as the, the old ones. So maybe you can see, because at least you will see the in install is diff total difference and the right. before the package. Something like I try to keep it as the same experience as before, but it's sometimes hard. And and actually, in the two point oh, uh, the, the structure of the new actually, what I see is the two, the new 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 structure of the SDK itself is quite good because we can expose the fabric portals outside that we can place entirely. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so 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 that's the the code is much more slimmer than previous. Than the old ones, and you, you you do not need to have all things inside the channels. And most of most of the the how I say it. Um, another way, another way, another fashion I usually in this side is I'm trying to keep it stateless 
instead of keep all that all the components inside a channel or a client, you have to keep that up in memory object very carefully. Uh, I will the play I the way I design it is when you play out play with the operation, play with the uh, the class, you can entirely get rid of it on the next times. So you do not have to uh, keep this instance globally inside your node just run times. So it is designed to be stateless. In old in old design of fabrics, SDK nodes uh, sometimes not purely stateless. So uh, I'm trying to avoid that. Well, from this point, I sometimes it is uh, have a different experience. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions for David? All right, thank you, David. Like I said, put that out in the mailing list. I think that'd be the best place to publicize this and then we'll see what kind of traction it gets. Thanks. Yep. Okay, anything else for today, anybody? Uh, could I stop sharing? Uh, you can go ahead and stop. I think we're done. If there's no other input today. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye.